right, guys, I'm gonna give you a pro tip. For you guys uh, that are seasoned Bobcat, and particularly MT100 owners, you're probably already gonna know this, but for the guys that are looking to get into the machine or you just recently picked up a machine, I'm gonna show you a really cool feature with this, which is this float feature. So obviously, this does all the drive, this controls your bucket. But one really cool thing about this Hydra bucket is if you is if you push this all the way forward, it'll lock in. So you can raise your bucket, lower your bucket, all that. But if you push it forward, it's gonna float. And what that's gonna do, you're gonna watch as we go down. Not only is it gonna mulch it with the Hydra bucket, but you're gonna see the arms floating. And if you look down these passes that I'm making, it's gonna actually set this to a pretty good grade. It's gonna get it pretty smooth. I'm not saying final grade, but I'm saying better than you can do on your own just by eyeballing it. So check it out, I'm gonna make a pass or two and I'm gonna show you how this, how this works. See that the arms in correlation to the machine are gonna float and move up and down as we go through here. So you'll see them right there raising up a little bit, going down a little bit. That's in float mode. So that's what's setting the grade to that bucket. And, it, and this hydro bucket still works in float mode. So it's a pretty cool feature, guys. It's just one more thing, guys, that makes your final product that much better for your customer. It really puts the, fin the finishing touches on it that your customer is going to notice the difference. But you'll watch as we back drag on this, that arm and that bucket is going to float a whole lot more than it does going forward just by nature because the bucket's pulling material and floating through it and trying to grade it out. I'm going to show you something else about this mulcher that a lot of you guys on this Hydra bucket that you guys might know, some of you may not know, but you can actually change the direction. of the carbide teeth. So you can go forward, you can go backward. Not only does this assist if it gets uh, clogged up a little bit with whatever you have, but the idea is you run the mulcher in the opposite direction that you're traveling. So if I'm traveling reverse, I'm gonna take this controller, I'm gonna push it forward, and I'm gonna lock it in. And then I'm gonna drag the, back, the bucket backwards as we come backwards. And then when I change direction, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna push it, I'm gonna lock it in, and I'm gonna push forward. So this is always in the opposite direction of your travel, and that's gonna give you, in my experience, the best mulch that you're gonna get and the smoothest path that you're gonna get on your project. So one of the other really nice features of this is how close you can actually cut this into a fence. you guys look at that piece right there, you can literally get this thing within just a couple of inches of that fence, which is really nice because you're going to save yourself a lot of shovel and rate work on your final product. But you can really get a precision cut and put this right next to your fence. It didn't totally remove that grass, guys. Look at that path. That grass is six, eight, ten inches tall. And look at that path and what it absolutely did to that lawn. So, guys, one thing that you'll see when we do this is I try and mark the I try and mark the sprinklers. This particular yard, they've got them on the sides over here. You can see them over here. But in the middle of the yard, there's only one. So what we do is we paint it and then um, mark it with a bucket. That's just a, more of a visual for me so I don't run it over. But guys, a nice, one nice thing, additional nice thing about this hydro bucket is this thing's only going down about three or four inches. So you're usually not going to get yourself in trouble with anything underground at all. So, and then we just carve around it, then we'll put the bucket back over the top of it. Again, that just marks as a visual for me, 
so I know where it's at as I'm glancing and looking around and stuff so I don't tear up anything that I don't intend to tear up. All right, guys. So that's it for this uh, for this project. We've got about two and a half hours in total runtime to completely get rid of this lawn, kind of smooth it out. It had some slope in it. it. Had a slope right here where the tree was. The only thing we left is a patch of grass per their instructions for their dogs to. I think they're going to wire that off and let their dogs use that for. A uh, little play area, a little rest area, whatever they're going to do, but um, yeah, it turned out pretty good. Um, man, fast work with this uh, with this MT100. So it worked like a champ. Um, again, about two and a half hours, complete runtime on this project. You can see um, it's pretty uh, <laughs> it's pretty soft right now. So they got their work cut out for them. Uh, I think they're going to reseed or resod or something like that, but. Worked out pretty good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we've got some more content coming up for you guys. So let me know what you liked about it. Uh, let me know what else you guys would like to see about it. But uh, two thumbs up to CMP attachments for this Hydra Bucket. This thing is an absolute beast. If you guys get a chance to play with one, definitely check them out. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.